Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back with some more of our Wrexham save here. Playing a little, uh, a little bit of a push towards the end of the year. Well, not even yet. It's technically what you would consider the transfer window in December, but there's no transfer windows down here in non-league. So yeah, that's the thing. We're going to go ahead and play today Bromley and then probably York and then finish off the episode with Chesterfield today. So a three game episode for you. It's going to be fun times. We're going to be playing some good stuff. Without further ado, let's get right into the meat and potatoes of this episode. Yeah, as you see, York, Bromley, we're set up. We're ready. This is Bromley to start with. Uh, we're going to play positive because that's what we've been playing all year. They're playing a... a is this considered a six? Or no, this is considered a five, three, two. That. Okay. We're going to put some pressure on him then with this custom wing play. See if we can exploit the middle of the field. I think we're set up. Everyone's good. We have an injury for uh, Osana, so he's not going to be a sub today. So let's get into this. So I think this save is just going to be a straight Wrexham save. I think this isn't going to be technically our road to the league save this year. Because... I think this is going to be a one team save. Because I want to do something special for that. Uh, that kind of road to the league type deal. And that will be for a later date. We'll kind of jump into that whole thing. They're probably around. Uh, probably a couple months from now we'll start that. But it'll be a. This can be just a straight wreck some save that we're gonna have fun with. That might mean I might have to change. Whoops. That might mean that I have to change the thumbnail, unfortunately. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. As Lanton gets that one, we're going to go to key highlights. We already are on key highlights. I'm going to go back to sideline view. And there's Ollie Palmer. Let's take a look at that. I, I think playing more up with the camera will be better. At least for my mind. As Mullen heads it up and Palmer finishes it. Looks like it did cross the line. A little bounce. There's no uh, review VAR stuff. So obviously we're in non-league. So we move around there. Ooh, good through ball. Hayden is there. Fazen, come on. Ooh, Hayden makes a block. Okay. Okay. Curse the team.
Ooh, that would have been a great cross. Tozer puts it back up. Lee can't cross it. That's a lazy attempt by Ford. There's one up to Davies. And there it is, Jordan Davies. That's a goal, baby. Let's go, Jordan Davies. Let's go. Let's go. That's a good one. What a ball up top. Let's go, baby. That's Palmer and Davies. That was close. Wow. Get there, Lanton. There you go. They're playing, obviously, playing a lot more there at five in the back. We're playing this defensive shell and we're still getting the ball through there. Mullen is going to take this. There's Holly Palmer. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And just like that, Bromley can't hold up to us. We are in fact in key highlights and that's how good we are at this level. But I remember seeing this in our, uh, there's one on Lanton by Dennis. I did remember seeing this on our road to the league season one, that one with when we were, by the time we were with Buckhurst, Rexham was up at league two and then they got stuck at league two. And I don't think they ever got out of league two in that save. So. Remember, when we get promoted, we have to do something. But we have to actually get to that point. Nope, he's off by like a half step. Okay. We're done brilliantly, just keep going. I think we're pretty good just over the net Ali's gonna take this make it 4-1 baby nope he doesn't Come on, Ollie. That's a good ball. Foster. That's over. Go wide over here, Lanton. There you go. 
And Davies with the speed. Oh, it stopped! What a play by the defender. Just under his arm. Just under his arm. There's Palmer with a hat trick, I think. And that's off the post. Jordan Davies almost had one. Okay, since he has... Can he get a perfect 10? Well, I probably could. We're going to put in Dalby. Just because I want, I want him fresh. I want him ready to go. There's no reason to risk injury. Especially against Bromley, there's no reason to. Come on, Rob. that helps thanks what a save Okay, Tozer, control it. There you go. We allow them. Come on, Rob. That second half was bad. Really helped our chances. We're top of the league. I'll say it was pretty epic. Top of the league by one point. Palmer. Doing what he likes to do. All right, here we go. York City. Unfortunately, Rob Lanton is out. He did break his finger. But he's not going to be playing for us today. We're going to see. Well, I believe at this point it's going to be. Rory Watson. We're going to see him come in. We do have an offer going out to Stephen Henderson, 34 year old goalkeeper, coming in and play behind uh, Lanton and see what he can do 
with that, but it's going to be a little bit before he actually gets here. So the board wants us to win this, obvious. And then they say Usana should, and they want to see Dalby score. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's play Husana. Not do that. Hold on. Do this. So Husana will start on the right today. See exactly what we can get out of the boys. It's York City. I've made training pretty much to our assistant. So I think I can go in there and change it at will. But I think we're rolling right now. So there's no real reason to actually change it. James Jones progressing. Little by little. I mean, we are ready to go here. So York is at 35 points, so they're 12 points behind us, but they are sixth, only two points ahead of FC Halifax, who is outside the playoff. Uh, we've played 21 games. I do not remember how many games we play. We play 46. So we're not at the halfway mark. Got uh, two games to get to the halfway mark. Okay. Liking this right now. I'm confident in the boys to get it done. I'm confident in the boys to get it done. Robot assistant manager does not like the pregame talk, the pregame hype. Robot assistant manager just gives us the wrong, wrong choices. Okay. We're our blues today, our powder blues. Nalt is playing uh, South End, so we have a game. Let's encourage the boys here. See if we can't get something going. There's just the Palmer. Ah, uh, you can't get a good solid contact with it. Another cross attempt. That one's on the ground. It's knocked around, and Ali Palmer puts it in the net. That was a little chaotic. I think my game actually stalled a little bit. We're going to take a look at that. Wow, it bounced off Paul Mullen. He isn't going to get the assist because it was kicked into him. So not a deliberate pass. Palmer, but Palmer still finishes it nonetheless. There's Usana. Hayden looking. That's a good one up to Davies. He has the speed. Not the greatest angle. Still a good shot, though. It's a very hard ball to put in the net. Hit that angle with the keeper. Gives the keeper the advantage. Briscoe, that is deflected. Watson gets that in the air. Doing pretty good taking it down. Actually, the left side. All right. It's just naturally how we're just taking it down the left side. Maybe because the back on the left is a complete wing back. So his movement is from all the way from 
the first half to the third half of the field. So he's just dribbling it up. There's the field switch. What a good hit. Elliot Bolton. Or no, Elliot Briscoe, my bad. Elliot Bolton. That's his first goal of his career. No, it is Bolton. Briscoe's the one that passed it. Yeah, he's one of the box to box midfielders. He is 21 years old. His first goal of his career. He had one assist. We have not had possession for that long. That is not a good thing. Team did not like that in a half, so we're gonna have to encourage out of the locker room. Deflected. Let's bring it down. There you go, Tozer. Davies heads it over. There's Lee. Bring it up to Mullen. Mullen trying to go around the keeper and the defender there blocks it. Okay. Okay. That was a good defensive stand there by York. Food out of Bolton. Briscoe. Bring it up. Briscoe is open. Tozer, what are you doing? Okay, we're going more attacking. PR, that is a leg on you, my man. That was a blast. I'm going to demand more from the team. We're not getting it. Come on, Palmer. That's going to be better. Okay, there's a good interception. There's Lee. Bring it up. There's Davies. Davies. Wide left. Thought it might have been deflected, but no. Got it right under the leg of the defender. Yeah, it's our three subs. Okay. And demand more. Demand more from the team. It might have been deflected, and that's why it wasn't a strong hit. We could have actually moved ahead 
ultimately we don't we have our youth intake in geez a lot of a's fullback center back central midfielders strikers b and winger c and wide midfielders wow so the intake is three strikers uh two left and right attacking mids two midfielders two a left and a right uh midfielders four center backs one left and right back and then one goalkeeper which goalkeeper is not great all right chesterfield we're going with the new formation not anything drastically different by any means we're going to pump out uh, paul mullen out to a inside forward playing out wide i'm starting to notice that we're getting beat out wide in some wide areas lee's going to be the uh inverted winger on the opposite side and then palmer will be the target forward up top so nothing crazy it's just i've noticed we're getting beat by not having a winger or a player playing on the wing and that's what it's turning into is we're losing a bit of attacking spell in this side and we're getting beat from behind is what's ultimately happening so inside forward there opposite side the winger Like Palmer is the target forward up top. Other than that, everyone is kind of playing the same thing as they were before. So nothing crazy. We will have a complete wing back out here. McFazen. I mean that that sounds like probably the best bet. We can have another player up in here, so we'll have five up in the box, and then we'll kind of play with that. But this is a big one. Lanton's still out with this finger injury. Kind of sucks that he went out and uh, it actually turned into a not very good day for Steven Henderson. Which, he needs to turn in some good stuff. Now, we don't have a game. I want to say our next game on the schedule is Hyde. Who is under we'll play a rotated side for hide which won't be in this episode i'll play it between episodes which means we need to have probably our best guys out and i think this is what we're going to go with and then we'll We'll have to see. We might get Dalby in for Ali Palmer. Audio will come in the middle, and then we'll probably get one sub in the back. But the team's going to be tired. It's going to be all right. I'm going to counterattack when we're out. Okay. Let's submit it. Submit the team. See what we can get done here. They've changed formation to a 4-2-3-1. They were playing a 4-2-4. I'm not sure what a 4-2-4 is. It kind of boggles my mind. What What is a 4-2-4? Okay, we're at home. We've lost two out of our... Well, we've lost three out of our last five. We've been two and five. Or two and uh, three. They've went three and two. So they've won three out of their last three and three out of their last five. Looking at it right now, I think everyone plays at the same time. So if Alta actually loses, we could get back up into first. We don't want to go to a playoff. I don't want to have to deal with that. But cheer on the boys from the start. 
That's over. Good. That's actually a good play by Henderson. Cooper putting it in back and that's headed away. Come on, boys. Let's get something. Hayden has that away. Ooh, and that's deflected by Hayden. Okay. Know what time it is? It's almost goal time, and we missed it. Words of encouragement to the boys. Let's bring it down to a balanced. Let's. Shorter passes, higher tempo. Let's not play this game. Let's play out of defense. We're playing with the Regista. Well, we just need one goal and we're make some of the subs at the half. There we go. Good ball. I don't like this. And that's because of the fact when he crosses, you have nothing here. We're going to have to figure out how to deal with this long term. We want both of our fours to be up in the box. Okay. Some of those guys really like that. We'll encourage again. After this, we'll do a change. That's why. So Dalby's going to go in for Palmer. Um, Adi's going to go in for Davies. And in the back. I'm going to put Hassana in the middle. We're going to risk it. Actually, we don't have to risk it. We can just play like this. It's fine. Okay.
We need a goal here. Go positive. Come on. There's O'Connor. There's O'Connor. Let's go. There's Mullen. Looking for the cross. And Dalby. Not the greatest hit, but he has it just enough to not get in the goal. And that should please the fans. Dalby has solved his goal drought. Mr. Postman helps out. It's all about defense now. And not... You gotta be kidding me. Rob, I need you to come back. Rob Lanton, I'm paging you right now. Yeah, for a second I was like, did I really just loan someone to the other team? That's my rival. I went in the air. There you go. Good turn by Lee. There's Mullen. He misses it wide right. We need this win. And Dobby can't get his head on it. But Kusa... Okay, that hits our own player in the head. It's a good one. Hottie up the Lee. Lee scored before and he just misses that. Come on, boys. gosh a weight has come off my shoulders it's not a convincing win but Paul Mullen could have just gotten us the win there and he does against our rivals that was good boys Oh God, we pull within two. That's a good win. That is a fantastic win. Paul Mullen does it again. See what they got in the press conference. Tried to play the match rather than the occasion. He's awesome. I wouldn't expect any further activity. I don't even know who this is. Who who is this? I I can't even scout him. I'm not discussing transfers. 
think he'll think twice. Depends on other factors if Leo be played on the left. Okay, so I am going to play a couple of matches at least. I'm gonna play Hyde. It is one with this. I mean, Hyde is a team under us. It's gonna be a rotated side. Nothing really to see for the most part. Uh, and then afterwards, I think I will play the first game against Sully Home Moors. And then I think we'll be back for this January game against Sully Home Moors. And probably Yeovil because that's a big one. And then probably end that month with. Uh, probably end that episode with a game in February against Altrinum. So, be a good one for you. So, let, let me actually make myself big here. Right here, you'll see from the stream franchise, hilarious stuff going on in that one. Uh, I will have the first couple of streams up the next couple of days for our... I don't even know what to call it. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but it is not the football manager I thought we were going to have on stream. It's hilarious and it is live, so it's even more funny and hilarious. So that's all the hint I'll give you on that one. We'll be having cut videos of that up uh, after a while on this. This series is going to be a Wrexham save, whatever. So I don't think this is going to be my road to the league. I think what I want to do for a road to the league this year is maybe a one team save all the way from the bottom tier of England. I'm thinking because I want to experience that grind. And if I get sacked, we just get a team that's adjacent and we keep going. So I think it'd be interesting to do that just because the sole fact of I've never actually clawed myself out of something like that i mean we kind of did last season but we kind of bounced around that was one thing so i think this year we might do something like that and i'm liking this wrexham uh one team save kind of playing that so i'm liking it so far so once we are actually fulfilled with that also have some other ideas on the horizon a european glory hunter one which is inspired by some other YouTubers that kind of do something like that. And that is like winning all the trophies in, in Europe. I think that would be especially hard for a noob like me. Just because the sole fact would be hilarious to take 15 years. I might have to actually give myself 20, 20 years to try to win every trophy in Europe. In, in the big countries, so France, uh, England, Germany, Italy, and then the European ones as well. So that would be interesting to do that. So I'm having fun with this. This is going to be one to get up and get some stuff with Wrexham. So thanks for hanging out. Go leave a like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.